hey guys uh, so in this video we'll study variables in more details okay everything about python variables most of the thing that can be studied at each stage right okay so let's have a look we studied few rules like number one if you name a variable name it properly like don't name it something random okay this was one rule we studied so let's see other rules okay let's suppose i name a variable a as 2 okay so if i have to display the answer on the screen what statement i use we'll study about print for now print is used to display something on the screen how just write the print in the bracket just write the variable name okay that's all so it will give you the answer 2 okay okay so now uh, rules for uh, variables okay so rule number 1 okay this is the first rule that while naming a variable it should always start with a character character means anything from small a to small z and capital a to capital z okay uh, like i cannot start with a variable with whose name is 1a like just imagine a name a person name cannot be 1a or the name of something right at least earth on earth you know, on mars we can have a different naming convention but that's totally different so, but 1a is not allowed, but a1 is allowed. Okay. So, what is the problem now? Also, I have to change the name here also now while printing. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Will we discuss about comment in Python? So, we'll, we'll keep it for some other classes. Okay. Uh, so, let's run it for now. Okay. This is 2. Awesome. So, we got 2. Not a problem. Okay. So the rule number one, it should always start with an alphabet, okay, not with a digit. Now you can combine the things anyway, doesn't matter, okay. Once it has started with the alphabet, then you can place any number of uh, digits from 0 to 9, okay. So uh, in any order, doesn't matter. But first letter should be an alphabet, small letters or capital letter, doesn't matter, okay. Okay, so this is perfect, okay. So, the, we can conclude that we can have letters, either small letters or capital letters and digits 0 to 9. In the name convention only, it should not start with a digit. Simple? Okay. Rule number 2. What about special characters? Can we have special characters in the name? Is it? Yeah. So, Python basically allows you to use one special characters, which is underscore only underscore not any other special character remember it so just leave it so this is dash this is underscore so i am able to use it i got two perfect so you can literally use underscore anywhere at the start at the end not a problem okay working perfect even you can use it at the start underscore perfect okay so but understand here don't use underscore at start you can use it it's not wrong but what happens when you use underscore at the start generally okay it's a convention in python that underscore at the start generally means it is being you like it has some internal meaning okay it is predefined by python okay so generally try to avoid it okay we don't have any and less names in world right that you, you will do something out of the box so don't avoid it else everything is okay perfect that's great okay guys so now what is the next thing to do okay so just let me know which of these are uh, variables are correct and which of these variables are wrong okay so step number one so what will i do i will just write the variables not print it okay so one variable name is a one is a1, one is a dollar b, one is a dash b, a b underscore, okay, a b underscore one, okay, that's all. So, which are correct and which are wrong? Do comment, guys. I'll be waiting for your comment and the person who gives the most correct answer, I mean, if you can give all, it's very perfect, I'll give you a heart okay so now let's have a look first one is correct not a problem starts with an alphabet this also starts with an alphabet 
It starts with an alphabet but it has a special character dollar. Dollar is not allowed in Python. Like I think Python don't know uh, which country made it. Maybe the person loves underscore. Dash is also not allowed as a special character. Underscore is allowed. And here also it started with an alphabet. Underscore is there perfect. And one is there at the end, not a problem. So this is also allowed. Clear guys? This was about Python variables. One more rule, the last rule. That we will not discuss a lot now, but uh, you should have a hint of it. Okay. What do I mean by that? Like let's name a variable like this if equal to two, and then I'll print it, print if. I got an error. If I replace if by let's suppose G. I did not get, I will not get any error. Why? What is this crazy thing about? Okay, so basically what happened? Uh, we cannot literally name any, like you can literally name anything, but some letters and word have a special meaning in Python, not letter, usually word. Some word has a special meaning in Python. If has a special meaning in Python, okay? If I use some letters which is already defined in Python, that has a special meaning in Python, then it will give you an error. It will assume that you are trying to use that special meaning, but here you are using it for some other purpose. Now we will say, how will I know which word in Python uh, has a special meaning and which one is not? To be honest, there are only 33 words like that. Okay, so we will see that along the way. For now, remember, if you use a special word, you will feel that this syntax is totally correct. Still, you will get an error. See? Then you may understand, oh, it's that, that must be a, if you're totally sure, then if it's still showing you an error, that means understand that it is more like, a, what do you say, has a special meaning, okay? So there are 33, so we will see along the way, memorizing all the 33 at this point does not make any sense, right? If you get an error, just change the name for now, as simple as that, okay? And because we'll be covering those 33 slowly, 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 okay? So guys, that's it. So now I will see you later sometime with a new topic about print statement, okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a like at a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career okay to me it will help you to build a great career in full stack development whether you are a working professional or a fresher doesn't matter okay they have different kind of batches for everyone if you are a fresher the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of five lakhs or more if you are experienced depending on your previous package you guys we can sit and decide your new packages right and then finally, once you get placed, and that's the time to rock. So they help you guys to build a great career, okay? So if you are interested in get, getting a great career in a tech background, do check out the link that is below this video. Okay, guys. So see you in the next video. Wait, guys. Where are you going? So fast? That's not good. Why? Because you have to do something small small thing and what are those first do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it okay give it a thumbs up that's will be quite motivating for me okay subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification like what will happen so you can get the future notifications of all my videos like i upload videos almost daily okay if you have any doubts or confusion don't forget to put a comment i'll try to answer your query as far as possible and you guys know Sharing is power, right? Sharing is knowledge, as it has been rightly said. So if you want both power and knowledge, do share it with your friends. Okay, and before you go, you can also check out this course on Launchpad. Uh, like on Launchpad, you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video. Okay? Okay, guys. So now, I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.